Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about how you can go ahead and farm the scroll network airdrop. Now it's been long since I have made a video on scroll airdrop farming and there have been some uh, new updates on scroll with regards to the airdrop farming. Now before we move on to airdrop farming on scroll network, if you want a crypto content in Hindi language, I have an alternate channel which is called as Altcoin India Hindi and uh, if you want you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel for airdrop content in Hindi language. Now if you go to ZK Codex over here, over here you would be able to track all your interactions, volume, interacted contracts, native bridge, balance, fees and uh, various protocols over here uh, which will reflect over here once you have their NFT pass over here. Now if you want uh, you can go and mint their NFT pass which is optional and that will cost you around $4. But I have personally minted it and I personally feel that it's a decent investment for me. I've done it on my main wallet and not on my other wallets over here. Now apart from this, they also have this simulation where you would be able to track all your airdrops based on ARP, Starknet, Celestia and Optimism. So it's a handy tool in order to track all the airdrop content because if you talk about the chain over here, they have ZKSync, Linea, Base and there are a lot of them. So basically you will be able to track uh, all the interactions and volumes on different chains on ZK Codex. Now if we talk about uh, the scroll ecosystem over here, uh, they have a decent ecosystem and uh, it keeps growing day by day. Now uh, we won't be able to interact with all the protocols but I will just tell you the main uh, protocols that to which uh, you might want to interact in order to be eligible for the scroll airdrop. Now I made a couple of videos in the past explaining some of these protocols over here you can go ahead and uh, look for them so if you go in all categories over here uh, uh, this slido is important which i will cover in the later part of the video then uh, you can say safe wallet maybe and then there is ambient finance now ambient finance would be having their own airdrop and basically you can go ahead and collect some ambient points then kelp dow is important over here and uh, RhinoFi you can use it for basically bridging from some other chain to scroll. Now what I am going to do personally is like uh, apart from the interactions that I have done in the past like around $500 I have already spent on the scroll network. I will be uh, like transferring around $200 worth of ETH on uh, scroll network in order to go ahead and farm this airdrop because I am limiting my budget to airdrop farming on the scroll network due to expensive gas fees. So hopefully uh, they uh, like reduce the gas fees in the future and uh, now recently they have done up the tie up with uh, Alchemy Pay over here then Stake Stone is important over here and maybe uh, yeah this one is also important now tranches for airdrop farming so I will cover each uh, one of them over here. Now Bungie also you can use Pith is always there so yeah. So let's start into how you can go ahead and actually farm the scroll airdrop because scroll has now introduced something called as sessions over here and in sessions you will need to earn something called as marks. So marks is basically uh, similar to points. Now as you can see I have some like around 520 marks or so and in order to earn some marks over here all you have to do is uh, you will need to go ahead and bridge some eligible assets on the scroll network uh, in order to get these points over here. Now scroll has done a very smart move in order to bring in the liquidity to scroll network over here and of course uh, this will cost you some money and scroll airdrop farming is not free to be honest. So if we talk about uh, this eligible assets one by one over here in order to receive some points uh, I will also show you how you can uh, receive some additional points uh, in the later part of the video over here. So the first thing that you can do is basically uh, you have to use their main bridge at least once I would advise is like uh, uh, bridge some ethereum uh, on the scroll bridge over here to scroll network over here. Now I have already done it. I have bridged around if I remember correctly close to like uh, I think so $360 or so in the past. Now you can do the similar thing on their main bridge over here uh, depending on how much amount you want to go ahead and bridge on the scroll network. Now once you do that uh, it might take around 10 to 15 minutes for the fund to reflect in your scroll wallet over here and once you have uh, enough wallet you can go ahead and basically use that uh, ETH on the scroll network for uh, transacting with different protocols or maybe minting some NFTs or uh, basically using it on the scroll network for swap. 
now the next thing that you can do is basically uh, you can also brief some usdc and usdt in order to earn some additional points so if you have like usdc and usdt on the ethereum mainnet over here basically you can use uh, the same in order to go ahead and bridge the same to scroll network so this uh, will give you some additional points over here as you can see uh, for usdc i don't remember when i had bridged but i received like this small points over here which is 0.62 now with regards to this one over here uh, this uh, this is uh, eth uh, which is on kelp dow so if we go over here on the kelp dow over here as you can see they have this uh, restake option where you would be able to like uh, restake your eth on the main net in order to receive some uh, wrapped kelp uh, eth over here so as you can see the exchange rate for one wrs eth is equal to 1.01 so once you go ahead and uh, restake it over here you would be able to receive it and also earn some points over here so it was over here so you would be able to earn these points when you once you have it now with regards to wst eth uh, this is basically a lido stake teeth now if you go to lido website over here all you have to do is you will need to basically connect your wallet first so once you connect your wallet all you have to do is you will need to go ahead and stake your ethereum on the main net in order to receive this st eth over here so it's basically in one is to one ratio so for example if you go ahead and stake one eth on lido you would be receiving around uh, three point something odd percentage as uh, staking rewards and also apart from that uh, you would be receiving this uh, one st eth over here now once you receive this one st eth all you have to do is you will need to go ahead and click on wrap over here and uh, let's say if you have like one ht eth you can go ahead and wrap it in order to get some uh, equivalent amount of one wrs or wst eth over here now once you have this uh, you can go ahead and uh, basically bridge uh, this over here from ethereum mainnet to scroll mainnet and this will give you some additional points over here now to be honest i haven't completed any one of this because i'm just waiting uh for me most probably i will be like transferring 200 dollars and trying uh, all of this uh, and i will just check as to how much points i will receive uh so just to like keep the airdrop farming in uh, budget now once you do this uh, the next thing that you can do is basically you can use this stone over here now you can uh, go ahead and stake your eth on the stake stone network over here and as you can see this uh, ratio is there when one stone is uh, almost equivalent to one eth over here now once you stake your uh, uh, eth over here you will be receiving stone and also this uh, decent uh, apy of around 3.27 percent now once you do that all you have to do is you will need to go over here in bridge and over here you will need to select this scroll network over here and then basically uh, you would be able to like uh, bridge your stone from uh, ethereum mainnet to scroll mainnet over here so simply go ahead and select uh, any chain over here and basically go ahead and bridge and uh, this will help you some uh, getting some additional marks over here and uh, this uh, this uses the layer zero technology now uh, layer zero snapshot has already been done so i don't think this will help you qualify for the layer zero airdrop also and the last one is assets on tranches and as you can see they have mentioned like more eligible assets will be announced soon so there are a lot of things that you might have to do in the future in order to go ahead and farm the scroll airdrop apart from the they had this uh, scroll origins nft mint also which was exclusive to a small bunch of people now i also don't have it but i have uh, something on the similar line uh, for scroll origins nft on the optimism network which i have gone ahead and minted it now this might potentially earn you the highest points over here which is assets on tranches now if we go over here and as you can see each uh there is uh, this option like earn leverage take stone points over here and they have this multiplier of like around 20x now if you hold like a uh, top stone over here you earn stake stone points at the rate of uh, 20x over here and pay a daily interest rate of like 0.162 now this might potentially uh, earn you the highest multipliers with regards to marks over here but please note that this is leverage so there is always a i think risk of margin call and also liquidation so you have to be very careful with this one 
and also as you can see if we go ahead and provide this liquidity over here which is like stay stone to stone over here then uh, the overall yield is anywhere between 10 to 22 percent over here where you can go ahead and add it over here and also you earn this multiplies over here which is like 2x and then uh, there is this yield details like we'll be getting a part of trading fees then there is interest and then there is something called as chess rewards so i haven't uh, gone in and checked exactly what is this over here but maybe in the future i will go ahead and check it for on the scroll network and uh, also on the tranches so these are some of the steps uh, that you can do in order to farm the scroll out of fun now and i think there would be a lot of uh, eligible assets that would be coming in the future so what we will do is uh, basically we will keep an eye on uh, which one uh, would be giving the highest uh, marks over here and most probably we can like uh, use uh, that specific protocol or DeFi in order to earn the highest points on the scroll network so this is pretty much for this video with regards to scroll airdrop farming and in case if you have any doubts and questions please feel free to leave a comment and hope you like my video thank you for watching